deploy this. Like it's very convenient. Oh, it's not too bad. It's better than no, that. That's actually. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, and you throw it. It's like, and yeah. you pulled it inside your risers. Oh yeah, yeah. It should be outside. Should well, be. it depends where your glider is, but normally it'll be outside. You wouldn't reach between. You never bring your arms between there. You always come around the outside. Yes. Now, also with the pull, I'm not sure if they have any instructions about whether you should, like, push it with your thumb and yeah. then throw it, or whether it is just a pull to the right, because just a pull to the right is weaker muscles, yes. whereas if it's a pull like that... Didn't really say. What to yeah, you've got more yeah. force. So what I'm thinking, because right. it was hard to get out of the bag, out of the bag with the length of the little yeah. bridle, yeah. so I'm thinking this time, put your thumb in it and push it away from your body, mm. like a parachute ripcord, and then think about where you're throwing it. Yes. Three. Nice. <laughs> See, it's quite a long board, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a little it's just a up closer, Clint. So you can't um, actually pull it this side. It's got to come maybe two, forward. Like maybe mm -hmm. two hands. Try that means hand. letting go of both. No, no, but I mean, okay. when you pull it up, maybe a second hand to pull it out. Pull the right, or just like well, this. I'm thinking when you pull this one up, and you're getting to arm stretch, and it's not working. Your other hand may be able to come in and push against the bridle. Uh, that was better. That pop, better. Popped out a bit more. Alright, so we followed the instructions where this bridle comes around the side of the bag on the right hand side and attaches under the centre of the bag. The instructions show the bag has a loop on the side, but this bag has a loop in the centre. And the bridle, or the, the hand, the bridle, or whatever it's called, coming around here, is so tight now that pulling this yeah. is pulling on the bridle instead of the closing loop. So it's a bag lock. So we can't follow the instructions with this bag. So we'll do it a different way. Ready? Yeah. On top, with the handle on that side of that loop, there's no other loops on this side to connect it to. So we've got it as far over this way as we can. may be the final pack. Maybe. I don't know if you... It may, no, you better do another one. Right, so I'm pulling that tight, tight up there to make sure it has maximum length as it comes around. And actually now see, I've got it way over here. So there's it's got to be enough length that that gets away from there. Out of curiosity, that's the final photograph in the series. Good. That's any help? Yeah. So it was the top first, I think. Or was, no, it was the bottom first. It was the yeah, bottom first. Bottom first into the oh, side. And this goes out the top.
Sorry, then I'm taking over, mate. Have you got... I could see your point with that bag lock thing. I'm actually a bit surprised it, it worked out. Yeah. Given the lack of leverage with that. So now for the video, pulling, removing a pull-up cord. If we pull it out like that, we're going to fray the loop. So we've got to pull it under the cord and then pull it out slowly so that we're not doing any pressure and line burns on the closing loop. Funnily enough, I was using a bit of whippersnipper cord for this, uh, this purpose. Yeah. Is that, is that a bad idea? No, that's what the paragliding instructions show, but from skydiving, yeah. these are the pull-up cords that's we nice. use. Yeah. Now, um, imagine that zip is closed there, so we're just imagining that bit, which is not an issue. So, we'll tuck that in. So, there was nothing else different in the instructions, we're all set for another test. Yeah, I'll get yeah. the other camera. Do you want to try it with the other hand at all? What do you reckon? Well, you could if you want. Then he's then he, he's already around this side. And the zip's got open yeah. to get you. I think I'll use my right hand actually. Okay, ready? Um, also, yeah. remember there's um, two different ways to pull it. Yeah. There's pulling it that way with yeah. your muscles coming out, and there's pushing it that way. And yes. the issue yeah. was getting the bag out, and also. Because if this is the direction of the tight pull-up cord, yep. pushing it that way, like as a push, may help get tension on on that that cord, the bridle that's coming around the back there. Pushing it straight out. Yeah, if you put your thumb in here and push, and push yep. that might be the best. The best. Try it. Yep. That's the way I would do it. I'd put my thumb in there yes. and push it away from my body. Okay. Ready? Yep. Probably that fine. Better than it was. Yeah. 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 I think it's. I think it's definitely better than having it up. Yeah. You. Yeah. You were struggling a hell of a lot more yeah. than the first. Yes. This um, lark's head sits down in this corner with with those bridles parallel so that they um, are flat because it causes pressure on the zip if they're not nice and flat. And then this bag, we've got, we just check all these line stows and that loop comes down to the bottom underneath so it sits in underneath there like that. So that end is now tidy. Now this end, we need maximum length on this um, connection point. So if we hold the bag like this and pull it that way a little bit, so the bag's distorted slightly, that makes sure, because we need maximum length on that, that when we close that in, we've now got maximum length to bring that across there like that. Put your thumb in here and push that might be the best. Try. I, that's the way I would do it. I'd put my thumb in there and push it away from my. Yeah. Good. <laughs>